don't be a puppet of your environment, an unconscious puppet being used by people's beliefs. Maybe they are not conscious about changing your reality, about affecting your beliefs, but it's happening every single day. Every single day we're consuming or maybe we're being consumed by negative energies or unconscious negative energies, disempowering beliefs and disempowering thoughts, truths that are not true, but are only true the, to those who told them. Every single day, we are affected by things like this. You wanna do something, somebody tells you, be careful, don't do it. There's something you don't know. It doesn't mean it's the truth. It just means it's their perspective of the truth that you're listening to. But a lot of the time, you need to have a look at the person who you are taking this truth from. Are they where you want to be? Are they living the life that you want? And if not, then you need to question this person who believes in this truth. How is their life and how are they living? Are they successful? Are they happy? Are they joyful? And if not, hey, why are you taking their truth and making it your truth? Because all truths are true. We cannot deny that, right? If somebody tells you a story, it's true. It's the true perspective from that person. But it doesn't mean it needs to be your truth. The question you need to ask yourself whenever you are taking any information from others, are, which perspective are you assessing this situation from? Right? We live in a life where there's so much media. You look at media, media is all manipulation. You look at the news, it's all manipulation. And then people think, well, if I don't listen to the news and I buy into, by the way, if you don't buy into what the most people buy into, you are buying into what the minority are buying into, these pocket tribes that have all of these different I ideology of how the world actually is, that try to, try to challenge the status quo and preach an opposite message but they are also brainwashing you. So we need to understand no matter what it is, no matter who it is, no matter what tribe we're in, whatever, whatever environment or whatever philosophies or religion or culture or ideologies we buy into, we are still being brainwashed by leaders, by people who are good at communication. Even right now, I'm brainwashing you to believe in yourself, to have inspiration and have that decisiveness or empowerment to become the best version of you. And that cannot be achieved if you are somewhat of a push over or a push into different environments. Suddenly someone says something, you believe that. Somebody else says something else, you believe that. It's very hard because when two people come together, there are multiple truths. No, there is person A's truth, person B's perspective of the truth, and the actual truth. There's always multiple, multiple truths that are going on. Now, which one do you buy into? Because this is almost like saying, once upon a time, I went to an event, it motivated me, or allowed me to buy into the concept of law of attraction, which then equaled my more positive thinking and all the success and things that I've achieved in my life. But that was a voluntary, voluntary act of allowing the manipulation to happen because I knew that would empower me to become a better person. What I'm saying is, whatever you hear, whatever you indulge yourself in, whatever you read, know that everything is a truth. But then ask yourself the question, if I buy into this truth, does it make me a better person? And if the answer is no, why are you adopting a new truth that doesn't really belong to you? Were you choosing to voluntarily be brainwashed or manipulated and buy into it?
Instead, why not allow yourself to be manipulated or buy into something that can empower you towards achieving some of the dreams and goals that you may have or fulfilling your highest calling or purpose.